Some recent developments that have caught my eye specifically the news surrounding a large Iraqi delegation visiting the United States now delegations happen all the time but what makes this one interesting is its sheer size this is reportedly the biggest Iraqi delegation to visit the US ever and that's a cause for some optimism what's even more exciting is the purpose of this visit according to our guest guru Rod Steele the focus seems to be on the Iraqi economy partnership agreements are being signed left and right and these agreements all seem geared towards one thing boosting Iraq's financial standing now some of you might be wondering why this is good news for the Iraqi dinar here's the connection a stronger Iraqi economy ultimately leads to a stronger currency when the country is doing well financially it creates a more stable environment for the art to thrive think about it this way if businesses are booming in Iraq that means more people are buying and selling goods and services this increased economic activity creates a higher demand for the dinar which can lead to its value rising now there's another piece of information that caught my attention the delegation is reportedly visiting not just Washington DC but also places like Michigan and Houston these locations are interesting for a couple of reasons firstly both cities have significant Iraqi populations this could be a sign that the Iraqi government is reaching out to its diaspora community seeking their ex expertise and investment in the country's economic revival secondly and this is a little known fact Houston is where the servers for the Central Bank of Iraq CBI are located thanks to an arrangement made by former President Bush senior this puts Houston in a unique position when it comes to facilitating financial transactions between Iraq and the US now here's where things get interesting Mr. Steele mentioned that US banks are ready and have the staff in place this could be a Hint that the infrastructure for a smoother financial exchange between the two countries is already being built now am I want to be clear here this doesn't necessarily mean a revaluation is happening right now in fact it's important to manage your expectations the key takeaway here is that these developments all point towards a positive shift in the relationship between Iraq and the US specifically focusing on strengthening the Iraqi economy and remember what Mr. Steele said silence these days is golden for sure sometimes the most important things happen behind the scenes all this activity and strategic positioning could be laying the groundwork for some significant changes down the line which could ultimately benefit the Iraqi dinar here are some additional points to consider it's important to stay informed on on the latest developments but avoid getting caught up in speculation or unrealistic timelines to your own research and be wary of anyone making guarantees about the DIN's future value invest responsibly and only with what you can afford to lose this is all positive news and it certainly injects some optimism into the conversation as always I'll keep you updated on any further developments let me know in the comments below what you think about this news are you feeling hopeful about the future future of the Iraqi dinar don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Iraqi dinar updates I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice please do your own research before making any investment decisions.